What's up everybody? Great to see you back. It's finally January 2018 and I was thinking why not make a video on a planet or that planet or the only planet which has no friends in the zodiac belt. Oh my god, but we know that list. Yes, Saturn is a friend to Mars. Oh no, no, it's an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Venus is a friend to Jupiter. No, 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 no. That is also enemy. But we know the list of friends and enemies, right? But then how come is there anybody who actually does not have any friend? Oh my God. Is this a new invention? No, 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 no. It's inside the texts of Rishi Parashar only. We will discuss about it. The only thing is people don't talk about it. And I'm throwing light on that. Although everybody knows about this. Yes. All right, so today we will discuss on the only planet which has no friends in Vedic astrology, okay? All are his enemies, which is that planet we will discuss, all right? There you go, wishing everybody a happy new year once again. And if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a personal consultation from me, then approach me in my website below and God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you get over this planet which has no friends. All right. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end. And if you want to, if you want me to make any other video, then please let me know in the comments. Or if you have any other questions, queries or comments regarding this video or any other video, then also let me know in the comments. Your comments are very valuable to me. I read and reply to each and every single one of them. All right. Now, we all know the tree of friendship, right? And enemies. We have two groups. One is the group of the Suras, which is headed by the Sun, the Mars, the Jupiter, and the Moon. <laughs> Big entities. So I'm using the before everybody. Yes, these four planets Jupiter, Sun, Moon, and Mars. They are forming the Suras and then we have the three Asuras. Yes, we have Mercury, Venus and Saturn. These three are the Asuras. Rahu is also an Asura. Now, the thing is, these four are friends. Jupiter, Mars, Sun and Moon and then Venus, Saturn, Mercury. They are also friends and among each other, most of them are enemies, but they are sometimes have neutral relationships also okay and sometimes they have friendly relations also for example sun mercury are neutral and friendly to each other all right and saturn and jupiter are neutral to each other they are not friends they are not enemies okay but sun saturn they are terrible enemies mars and saturn are also enemies mars mercury is also enemy relationship to that and then we have the planet which actually has no friends well let's analyze which planet that can be yes i can directly give you the answer but i want you to think what do you think which is the planet which is ideally having no friends i will prove it to you <laughs> what do you think ting tong one two three four five six seven eight nine ten times up the answer is sun <laughs> <laughs> no no it's not sun maybe it's the moon right but then moon has friends right jupiter is a very good friend no 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 then moon cannot be what about mars mars also has great friends right then what about jupiter jupiter has so many good friends then what about mercury mercury also has friends saturn and venus and what about saturn Saturn also has friends, right? Mercury, Venus. And what about Venus? Yes, that is the only planet which unfortunately has no friends. Which means even the friends of Venus, so-called friends, Saturn, Mercury, they will not give them any happiness, give him any happiness. The only thing Venus gets in their association is pain, misery and suffering. Why? Because Saturn is a natural malefic. Alright? Saturn is not a friend to anybody. If Saturn aspects Venus or is conjunct Venus, there is suffering in the area of relationships. 
and venus gets debilitated in the sign of virgo which is ruled by mercury did somebody tell me that my goodness should i take a pause here yes you check sun venus enemies sun moon my god enemies that is why the wife and the mother they are always having conflicts yes <laughs> we see that in indian homes and then we have mars and venus they are kind of neutral but they are still enemies all right then we have jupiter venus they are also considered neutral but they are still enemies because one represents materialistic pleasure another represents spiritual pleasure jupiter represents paraloka sukha which means happiness beyond this material world and venus represents ihaloka sukha which means happiness of this world ihaloka means this mundane realm sexuality love romance beauty luxury all those things and then saturn is a natural malefic whoever comes in association with saturn will suffer that is the thumb rule nobody can break that <laughs> so saturn and venus when conjunct gives a blow to venus it doesn't have any effect on saturn all right the same is with mercury when mercury is conjunct venus i have seen in my experience it is not very conducive for relationships because mercury is that happy go lucky prince which likes to go from here to there of course this can make the person very social and very much amiable for that it is good because when you say they are friends it means that they have certain traits which both of them uh, exemplify when they stay together now for example mercury venus what are the common traits socializing basically one represents your wife or the husband another represents your friends so you should socialize with either one of them most of the times right either you are with your spouse or with your friends most of the times and then you have saturn and venus so both represent a uh, commitment in one way because venus is all about relationships and marriage yes and venus represents commitment and saturn also represents ability to maintain the relationship for a long time so in that way they are friends but when i say that venus is not actually a friend to saturn it simply means that even if the aspect of commitment is there it will still give a blow to venus i have seen unlimited charts with saturn venus conjunct or a mutual aspect disappointment in relationships that has to happen all right but today's point is not to discuss on mercury venus or mercury saturn because mercury is originally a friend to venus but the predicament of venus is the exaltation sign of mercury which is virgo 0 to 15 degrees is the debilitation sign of venus which means the sign where mercury is the happiest that is the sign where venus is the most miserable because love and logic don't go together virgo is the sign of logic when you put venus there the predicament is they behave very much logically when it comes to relationships of course now that is that doesn't mean it is a bad combination or it's a bad placement but it simply means that the traits of venus can suffer to some extent when venus is sitting in virgo the person is too much picky about partners or too picky about controlling things and controlling other people controlling situations picking faults finding faults these are typical traits of venus in virgo now somebody will write in the comments oh you are wrong you are so wrong you don't know any astrology i am not like that i have my venus in virgo that day i had made a video and somebody said that it's not what you are saying it's wrong <laughs> i feel pity on these people because they don't see the whole horoscope they will just hear oh venus in virgo is like this then they will think oh but i am not like this he is not like that she is not like that i am not saying that i am saying that is one of the indicators the other horoscope combinations have to support that okay so please be mature when you make some silly comment like this okay and especially don't make any comment on any uh, person who invited me or who i invited because recently uh, a person invited me to her channel and then 
somebody commented something very bad one of my subscribers so i don't want that to happen all right so please be very respectful when you comment because you can comment anything about me but not about those people who invite me or who i invite okay then it's not very good <laughs> so please be very respectful when you put any comments anywhere okay especially in the areas where i am dealing with my guests okay all right so these are the traits when venus is in virgo that is why parashara has assigned debilitation sign for venus to be virgo all right so now that means even if venus is with his so called friend saturn or so called friend mercury there is some level of suffering in that okay then the question arises <laughs> where does venus go or we all know venus gets exalted in pisces right pisces is the sign ruled by jupiter now what does it mean actually why does this planet go to the sign of the arch enemy jupiter is an enemy to venus some say it is neutral but you think logically they are they are perhaps the they should perhaps be the worst of the enemies because they represent complete 180 or 360 degree opposite yes one represents material pleasure another represents spiritual pleasure but why does venus go to pisces that means the only friend venus has in the entire zodiac belt is actually jupiter because that is the sign where you go and find highest level of fulfillment where you just focus on moksha on spirituality you don't focus on the faults on flaws you don't focus on materialistic things which simply means that when we understand that the desire to obtain materialistic pleasure in this world which is actually venus right venus is sexual pleasure but sexual pleasure is what basically a tendency to enjoy the bodies of the opposite sex or nowadays the bodies of the same sex but essentially you are trying to enjoy the elements of this world that's what is sex desire on a gross level sex desire is a manifestation of that desire to manipulate the objects of this world to enjoy things yes that manifests in a gross level by physical enjoyment but what venus in pisces is telling us that my dear sir you will not find happiness with mercury you will not even find happiness with the own signs of venus which means libra and taurus yes those are the own signs right venus has its mool trikon in libra and taurus is the own sign which means venus is very strong in libra and taurus but even then you do not find fulfillment there which means if we as a person keep continuing indulging in material things which we have been doing life after life after life after life after life we will not find fulfillment that is what venus is telling us in pisces yes which is the 12th house originally 12th sign of the zodiac belt which means if we want to be happy in matters of venus which means when we want to stay happily in this material world because shukra venus represents ihaloka sukha which means happiness of this world we have to elevate our consciousness by taking to spiritual practices otherwise we will be the most frustrated person alive in this world because venus has no friends remember this apart from jupiter you go anywhere venus doesn't do very good in cancer because moon is another enemy yes it doesn't do good in leo <laughs> it does good in taurus and libra but there also it is frustrated it doesn't find fulfillment otherwise if a planet finds fulfillment in a zodiac sign why will it go to another house to find exaltation now see the story of mercury is different mercury gets exalted in virgo which is its own sign right mercury is the funny planet which get is the only planet which gets exalted in own sign yes apart from mercury nobody gets exalted in its own sign right but venus gets exalted in the sign of the enemy so see 
Venus doesn't do very good in Leo, in Cancer. Then in signs of Mars like Aries or Scorpio. Then Taurus and Libra are reasonably good. Then you have Capricorn and Aquarius. Those typical traits of Saturn. Then you have Gemini, my God. I won't comment much on Venus, Venus in Gemini. Then you have Virgo, it is the debilitation. That means, except that you have Sagittarius and Pisces. That means, what is remaining for you? <laughs> that means, Pisces is the sign where Venus finds highest fulfillment. That means, if you want that your Venus function properly, that means you have to improve your consciousness spiritually. Otherwise, your Venus may suffer. Or rather, I would say will suffer. <laughs> will suffer does not mean that you will not get married or you will not be happy in your marriage. But the highest level of fulfillment which Venus can give you, that is only in the sign of Pisces. And now somebody will say, oh, you are cooking your own philosophy. You are cooking your own theory. Who said like this? No, I am not cooking my own philosophy. I am just quoting what Parashara is saying. Parashara has not said directly, but Parashara has given us the rules, right? Venus gets exalted in Pisces. Yes. Otherwise, why in the universe would a Rajasic planet like Venus get exalted in the sign of Pisces? It should get exalted in some other sign like Gemini, where Rahu gets exalted, right? Gemini should have been the perfect sign for Venus to get exalted. But it doesn't get exalted there. Why? Because... Again, it is not where it finds the highest level of fulfillment. All right. So when we say that Venus has no friends, it means that anybody other than God, Jupiter, is not a friend to Venus, which means our desire to be happy in this world, which is represented by Venus, can only be fulfilled by God. F fulfilled by God doesn't mean that we go to God and we ask, that, oh, I want this person, that person, God will give you, then we'll be happy. It doesn't mean that. It means that when we try to go close to God rather than going to him and asking him other things, then we find happiness, ultimate level of happiness. All right. That is it from my side. The meaning of Venus, which has no enemies and the only planet with no, uh, sorry, with no friends. <laughs> All right. That is it from my side. If you want to know any other query regarding this video. Or if somebody is planning to blast me, they can always blast me in the comments as usual. I am waiting to see so many people blast me. Oh, how are you saying like that? I made that video on 20 symptoms of afflicted Venus and so many people have blasted me there. <laughs> Anyways, I can't help it. Who reacts to my videos how that is beyond my control okay so i don't try to control people <laughs> all right that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then approach me below in my website and if you want me to make any other video then also let me know and if you like this video click the thumbs up all right then kicking off this new year my god i hope this video gets recorded okay until next time with another video. Bye-bye. Good luck with your friendly Venus. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you.